Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and this here is the system known as V404 Signiae. This is one of the most well studied and one of the most well known systems because it contains a black hole that's currently the closest black hole we've discovered at a distance of just over 7800 light years away from us. Basically really far. And although the large object in the middle is not a black hole, this tiny spot right here is. So today we're going to discuss what we have recently discovered about this unusual but very powerful black hole. And we'll also talk a little bit more about what this might mean to black hole research in general. Welcome to What The Math. So only a few days ago from when I'm making this video, this research showed up in Nature magazine. It was about the most famous black hole V404 Signiae and it talked about how it has a very unusual, very hard to explain orientation of its jet compared to the actual spin of the black hole and also compared to the orientation of the accretion disk right here. In other words, something strange was happening here. Now, first of all, what exactly do we know about this black hole and why is it so famous? Well, this black hole is, like I said, the most well studied so far. And uh, we've officially learned most of the things about black holes by studying this particular star system. And that's because, as you can see, it has a very, very large partner. And it's essentially eating away a lot of the mass and a lot of the material from its partner, absorbing it and then releasing it as tremendously powerful astrophysical jets. And these eruptions, as you can call them, happened several times and most recently in 2015 we were able to observe them with a lot of detail. But they actually happened a few decades prior, back in 1938 and also back in 1956. And it's very likely that it's going to happen again, possibly maybe 20 or 30 years uh, later. And this is actually based on the fact that the first time we observed this black hole was back in 1989 when it had a somewhat similar outburst as well. So this black hole, as you can see, is um, it's very small, first of all, but it's very massive and it has enough mass to absorb and then re-emit a lot of material, but it does so in a very strange fashion. And this is actually a very good representation of what it's doing. So let's go back a little bit before I show you more. And first look at what was detected back in 2015. This is literally all we saw. And it's, as you can see, these tiny pixels don't really show you much. Unless, of course, you're a seasoned astrophysicist and you know exactly what's happening here. And what was unusual about these particular missions is that they were somewhat repetitive, but also the actual luminosity of these emissions was not constant, as if this object was spinning on the side, as you can see right here. Essentially, as if it was some kind of a pulsar. Or I guess in some sense you could call it a lighthouse if you were to use uh, more earthly terms. Although the actual observation itself may have not really been that exciting, what was unusual about it is that it was just not constant as we would expect from a typical astrophysical jet from a black hole. And this was only visible if you were to look at this with very short exposure. In other words, if you were to only look at this for a few seconds. If you were to take a longer exposure, you would actually see a much blurrier image, sort of similar to how the image of M87 appeared. So in other words, you had to use very short exposure to see these unusual flashes. And the major explanation for this was that the black hole itself was orbiting in this way. It was actually kind of tilted. And the um, spin of the black hole was not aligned with the axis of the astrophysical jets and so as it sort of circled around it was releasing materials in different fashions and sometimes when the matter was no longer available it would also do this and this is kind of what we've observed we've essentially observed this unusual pattern of bursts that we've never seen before and right now the scientists are trying to explain why this is happening but one of the main reasons is probably because the accretion disk itself is just not aligned with the spin and because the black hole as it spins drags the space time around itself and because of that its astrophysical jet kind of wobbles a lot and produces these effects. Now even though we've known about this black hole for a very long time, this officially is the first time we've detected something a little bit unusual about it. And although we don't really know that much about black holes just yet, 
we now know that they are a lot stranger and weirder than we initially thought. Now, one important thing to add here is that this accretion disk is actually really, really big. It's approximately 0.05 astronomical units, or about 5% the distance of Earth to the Sun. Um, and because things here spin so fast and everything here happens really, really, really quickly, it will be very difficult for us to take a relatively accurate shot of what's happening here, except for something as simple as this. This is probably the best we'll do for quite a while. Unfortunately, because it's so far away, it's practically 8,000 light years away from us, and because everything here spins so fast, by doing a long exposure shot, you're only going to get a very blurry image. And by doing a short exposure shot, you're just not going to collect enough light to see anything. And because of that, it's somewhat difficult to explain what's really happening here. Now, we think that the accretion disk is misaligned with the spin of the black hole, and if so, we don't really know why, but one of the explanations is maybe because when this black hole was created, uh, there was a large supernova that may have actually dislodged its spin. In other words, it created a bit of an angle in the spin of the black hole. But that's just one explanation. For all we know, something completely different is happening here, and we don't really know what. We do, however, know that the single orbit around this particular star, or technically the star's orbit around this black hole, takes approximately six days. And we also know that one of these outbursts is going to happen in the next 20 years or so. And we're going to be ready for it because we have new telescopes coming that are going to be able to see a little bit more. But until this next outburst happens, we're not going to unfortunately know much else about V404 even though it's been studied for several decades now. Anyway, so once we discover more about V404, I'm definitely going to come back and talk a little bit more about what we've learned, but for now that's it. So we know that this black hole spins um, with a very strange inclination and seems to wobble a little bit, and we seem to think that it's because of a possibly supernova that caused this. Other than that, that's really it. It's a strange black hole really far away. One day we'll discover something closer to us, but not yet. For now, this is the closest. On that note, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about the universe from this video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with someone who enjoys learning about space, and come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.